Let. Now let's go, bear me just a minute. Let's go to. We got Romans, and we got. I think it's James. Go to James. You act, you acting like you're holier than die. But merely you're wicked, right? Bear me just a minute. So we got James. See if I'm on the right one. Let's go to James. We're gonna go to James 2, chapter 2. And there we go, verse 8. If you fulfill the royal law. So this is a law within the scriptures, you know? And Jesus is negro, no blanco. You know, he's a negro, yeah? No gringo, right? But if you have respect to a person, you commit sin. So we don't want to have that mentality in the truth. Respect of person, right? You commit sin and are convinced of law of transgressors. So we don't want to be that way. I know him and up crow, but this is what you see in the truth. Yeah, you've got men that know each other in the truth, may have known each other for a long time. But yeah, I was shy. He's not looking at that. He's looking at every man's spirit individually. He's saying he's seeing where you stand with him. Right? Like it says, the royal law, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself so if you love that neighbor as thyself you're not going to lie on him you're not going to scheme on him you're not going to steal from him you're not going to call vet okay all these things so if a man's doing a lesson upon that and he's doing the opposite therefore what is he That means he's a hypocrite, right? That means he still abides in death, unless he repents, right? Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself, thou do well. But if you have respect to persons, you commit sin. That's a sin in itself. And that's corrupt. And I convince as law as transgressors. But whosoever shall keep the whole law, and yet offend in one point, one point of that law, he is guilty of all. Right? So you hold yourself to the standard of that law, but you go off, you're guilty of all. That's why we have the law of faith, right? Verse 11, for he, said, for he that said, do not commit adultery, right? Adultery is sleeping with another man's woman. Said also, do not kill. Now if that commit no adultery, yet if that kill, they have, a, they have become a transgressor of the law because you done, you, you broken it, okay? Okay? So speak you so, and so do as they will shall be judged by the law of liberty. For he shall have judgment without mercy. You see? That have shown no mercy. So, if you're in that spirit of being a, a warlock, a witch, okay, a wizard, Oh, look what he's doing. Look what he done in the past. Okay, see, as much as I bring out judgment, it's as much that I bring out mercy. Why? Because mercy overcomes judgment, right? A lot of men, they have no balance. 
within their spirit. Now, if you don't have one without the other, guess what's going to happen? You're going to end up like them wicked Pharisees. Because you have one without the other. Right? Yeah, the law deals with judgment. What happens if you go wrong? And the law also deals with mercy. Okay? That like I've shown no judgment. So those that don't see, how can you show? How can you show mercy? If you ain't been shown mercy, if you ain't been forgiven. And how would you know if someone's forgiven? It's the last days. So how would you know if someone's truly forgiven? By the spirit they have towards the other shy. By the spirit they're moving him. Right? How would you know if someone's wicked and hasn't been forgiven? Huh? By the spirit they have. By the spirit they're moving him. Okay? It's not hard to understand. And mercy rejoices over judgment. Right? These are heavy things. Go to Matthews. were who? Okay, the doctors of the law and the Pharisees. The scribes were someone that what writes down, okay, the laws and keeps notes, okay. Whoa, unto you Pharisees. Um, yeah, you have a show of pronouncing judgment upon them, okay. So it's beautiful how Yahabashah does things. Okay? When you pay, tithe of mints. And in this of coming. And have omitted the way to your matters of the law. The most important matters of the law. You notice how it says way to your. Okay? And it's going to tell you what the weightier matters of the law are. Judgment, so yeah, as men of the Lord, helpful potential elect, obviously we deal with judgment. Because you need that to keep things in order. Okay? But it doesn't stop there. See, a lot of men stop they stop at judgment. They stop right there because they have no balance, right? Judgment, mercy, and faith. So you also, with, with, with judgment, you also what? Practice mercy and faith. But if you lack judgment, you're gonna be all over the place. If you lack mercy, if you ain't been shown mercy, you ain't gonna be given mercy, right? If you lack faith, then how are you going to be faithful? Right? So all these things are important. These, these oughts you to have done and not to leave the other undone because they were only picking one. Out of the three, they would only pick one. Right? But they would leave the other. You can't have one without the other. They go hand in hand. Right? These ought to have done and not to leave the other undone. You blind guides, you got a lot of blind guides. And a guide would be what? 
a leader. So you've got blind guides, right? Which strain at a gnat and swallow a camel. So they strain at the smallest of mountains, but they swallow a camel, right? So in other words, they're not balanced. Woe unto you scribes, Pharisees, hypocrites. So there is judgment pronounced on these men today. They're here to be judged by Yahweh Shai. For you make clean the outside of a cup and of a platter, but within you are full of extortion and excess. So Yahweh Shai was saying, yeah, you make clean the outward. You're just looking good for people. You just want to look good. You just want to seem to be righteous. But really you're wicked. So that's what Yahweh was saying. So this chapter was Yahweh Shai reproving the wicked Pharisees. He was reproving them. Okay. Saying everything you're doing, which is outwardly. Okay, you have this false um, narrative of yourself, how you see yourself, how you want others to perceive you. Why? Because you're the devil. See, a man that's really striving, that's sincere, he doesn't need to do all this extra stuff. Right? His righteousness is going to be shown. Right? Eventually. And are full of extortion and excess. So these were crooked. These were crooked and very um, corrupt individuals. Right? See what else we got? So blind Pharisee. So yes, they were blind. Okay, because they could not see. They could not judge. If you're blind, how can you judge? And that's why it says take out the beam out of their own eye. That's why it says that. Right? They were blind. Okay. Transverse that which is within the cup. So Yahweh was giving them advice. Yahweh was giving them advice what they should do. Transverse the cup and the platter, the plate. All right. Let the outside of them may be clean also. So in other words, clean the inside first. Clean your inward parts. Clean your mind. Right? Let the outside of them may be clean also. So it starts within. It's, it always starts within. So you can claim to be righteous, but within you got you got very similar. Verse 27. Why would you scratch first hypocrites? For you like white sepulchres. White sepulchres are what tombs. Okay. Decorated. They look nice on the outside. But indeed, bear just a minute. But indeed a pair beautiful outwards. But within a full of dead man's bones. So within that tombs, what is there? A dead body. Dead man's bones. You got demons swimming all up in your fucking inward parts. Okay, excuse my language. We've got to say it that way. Okay. And are full of dead man's bones of all uncleanness. Right? Which is what deceit. Okay. Even so, you also have outwardly appear righteous unto men. So you're going to have those in this truth. They appear righteous unto men. They appear to be righteous. But you go more into depth into their minds and how they are, how they are towards their brother, they're wicked, right? You're full of what? Hypocrisy and iniquity. So they're full up of sin. Iniquity is a bundle of sin, so they're full of sin. Right? Why would you scratch Pharisees, hypocrites? Because you build a tomb of the prophets. Right? And because he brought the tomb of the prophets and garnish, the sepulchres of the righteous. In other words, what decorate it, prepare it. And say if it had not been in the days of our fathers, we are not being a partakers of them in the blood 
of the Prophet. Right? That was the biggest ever, ever thing they could do, atrocity of what? Give hand to Yahabashay over. That was the worst thing you could have done. And them same individuals are back in the truth today. Right? Yes, and a lot of them are in great millstone. Nobody really wants to say that. I've, I've never heard, I've heard a few, only a few actually say that. Yeah, is there a possibility of those that were against Yahweh Shai that some of them could be in Great Millstone? I haven't, I haven't heard anybody say that. Okay, why? Because men, they're running from the truth because men, deep down they know. They know a lot of men that are in Great Millstone, even a lot of your elders, even a lot of your bishops. Just look at what spirit they're in. A lot of them were against Yahweh Shai back then. And so a lot of them are going to be against him again, like again today. So they're here for what? To receive their judgment. That's what they're here for, to receive that judgment. Okay. Wherefore ye be witnesses unto yourselves that ye are the children of them which killed the prophets. Right? And how they just how they just how they're acting. You ready bring out the full depth of Yahweh Shai, just see how men react. Okay. Filling up the measure of your fathers. So you're filling up a measure, you're doing it to what? According to what your father's done. You're gonna fill up that same measure. So that means you're gonna be doing what them if you're well, one of them wicked Pharisees back then, you're gonna be doing what the wicked Pharisees do. Right? You're gonna be doing that same thing. You're gonna be what? That same stead of the wicked Pharisees. That's why that's why you wouldn't pray that you're on the right side. When I see this yet, it's right, it's great fair in me. 